Hey everybody, this is Carl. I'm going to go ahead and sh just run a video here real quick on configuring the uh, X-Arcade stick with the emulators here. So when you got the Apple II emulator open, hit the left arrow key to bring up the input configuration. Go ahead and what you need to do first is to start the ES config. So I just arrowed down to it and hit enter on my USB keyboard. And then I just follow the on-screen prompt. So press button for player one. Player one's usually on the left with the little one guy here. So player one, player two. And then we're going to ignore player three. So pressing a button on player one. Then up, down, left, right. Accept and back. And that's it. Basic config. Going to configure it for player two now. So up, down, left, right. Accept and back. And that's base config for player two. I'm going to select all three of the emulators for that basic config to work with. And then we're going to configure the bigger, or the, the other buttons here. So for A and B, press button for A, press, oops, press button for B. Now I'm pressing the, uh, the A button to select each option. So input for C, they want as button X. So I'm going to continue with the uh, Xbox style config here for start, player one start. And for the coin select, I'm going to use the button here on the left side of the arcade stick. Because you always stick quarters on the left side, right? For the left button, I'm going to use um, the second button down here. I guess it's the, the row of two. And then for right, I'm going to select the one to the right of it. And that will assign the inputs for player one. Now for player two, you go to the, uh, the player two joystick here something, anything, and then basically go through and map everything the way we did with joystick for player one. Now we can go through and test it at this point. Um, so player two, so Genesis C, Genesis A, Genesis B, a little bit different. You can always change that another time. And then up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. And all of our button maps are working. So we'll press button B, and that will bring us back here. Press button A for save, and it's all done. Now to configure the uh, retro arch configuration, this will update the retro arch auto config and emulation station. Um, for all the emulators to work properly, this is going to have to be done. So start basic input config, went up there, it goes into a DOS uh, style terminal. So some joysticks tend to have a state, a stale state after open. Press enter to continue. Well, I know that the mechanical switch is not an analog, so we can skip that. Hit enter. B button for Y button. Select, start, up, and we're gonna have to go through this again because it didn't want to recognize the up state. Make sure you get the configuration done before you exit out of it. So B button, Y button, select, start, up, down, left, right, A, X, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, um, left button three, it's going off of the Xbox controller here, 
So I'm just going to map that to left and right. Um, then left analog, I'm just going to map to the manual controls. So right, left, down, up. Right, left, down, up. And that writes the config for uh, the first player. Now for player two, we're going to do the same thing. Button down, left, select, start, up. All right. Down, left, right. A, X, left, right. Left, two, right, two. Left, three, right, three. Right, left. All right. Player two doesn't seem to want to work right now. So we get to do it yet a third time. Did all the recommended steps, and we're going to try a third time should be a charm. So B, Y, select, start, up, down, left, right, A, X, left, right, left, two, right, two, left, three, right, three, right, left, down, up, right, left, down, up. All right, so for player two. B, Y, select, start, up, down, left, right, A button, X button, L button, R button, L2, R2, L3, R3, right, left, down, up, right, left, down, up. And finally, that's the input configuration here. So the joysticks are configured and we can now play games to do so I'm gonna just launch doom here just to make sure that this thing's working properly because it's the only ROM I have on this thing at the moment pointed that the joystick ports are active hit one player start and here we go doom And I can go crazy and fragging my little heart's content here. I haven't had this kind of fun since 1992. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the, the build here, please give it a vote for one of the, uh, the contests it's entered into. I'd really like a uh, 3D printer, that way I can make a portable version of this thing. Uh, if not, that's cool too. I don't do it for the glory, I just do it to, well, do it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.